Perhaps lost in the popular debate over the next farm bill is the discussion on conservation programs. While much of the attention goes to crop insurance, direct payments, and safety nets, there are other changes, changes that could affect farmers. UNL Extension Public Policy Specialist Brad Lubin talked with us at the beginning of the month about the background, format, and outlook of conservation programs. Well, it's interesting if we look at the conservation programs. They become a major part of the Farm Bill and the Farm Bill debate uh, because they've grown substantially over the last 25 years. Uh, from less than $250 million of annual spending uh, 25 years ago to somewhere between $3 and $4 billion of, dollar, uh, of payments sent to producers each year for programs like the CRP or the EQIP and the CSP programs. Programs that, that pay producers to essentially adopt and maintain good conservation. Let's talk about those programs. Just give me a, a brief synopsis of, synopsis of what each of those programs does. Right. Well, essentially, I think of conservation programs in, in a basket of three types. Uh, there are retirement programs like the CRP. Uh, that essentially takes land out of production uh, and puts it into some conservation use. Uh, the, the conservation reserve, the wetlands reserve, originally took that land out of production in part to reduce uh, crop production and, and excess supplies, but over time they've become primarily an environmental uh, targeted goal, uh, how to achieve certain conservation benefits. A second category is working lands. EQIP and CSP fit that category. Substantial growth in the last 10 to 15 years in both programs. Uh, growth that pays producers to adopt and maintain good practices on their land that continues to work or continues to be in production. Uh, a third category is the preservation programs. Uh, programs that pay producers to lock up in perpetuity uh, land in its, in its current use, whether that's wetlands that are preserved forever as wetlands, grassland, or just the farmland protection program which keeps land in ag and out of some non-farm development. As you've mentioned two things here, there's a growth in spending and these are voluntary programs, so we're increasing spending, spending right. to pay out to volunteers who are coming forward for these programs. Right. Now, in the scope of this farm bill, why are we looking at cutting these programs? Well, they're clearly popular. They're clearly very popular and, and growing. And, and as I mentioned, the growth over the last 25 years has been, has been substantial. Uh, they are big enough mm -hmm. to also be a, a budget target, with everything being a target these days in Washington. Uh, even conservation spending has to uh, face some of the challenges. Now, they're forecast at uh, upwards of $64 billion per year, or $64 billion in spending over the next 10 years. That's better than $6 billion a year. Uh, the, the proposal that sits in the Senate floor as we go to debate uh, would cut that back about $6 billion, uh, maybe perhaps closer to $58 billion. Well, it is a 10% cut, uh, but it's also just a cut, a reduced uh, rate of growth. Uh, it's not specifically pulling back on things we've accomplished. It's reducing the growth of those programs into the future. Right, and I should clarify, not cutting the programs, but cutting spending within the programs. Predominantly cutting growth, not cutting the programs, right. and not even cutting back on the amount of spending in the program, but cutting back on the rate of growth in the program. How do you think farmers feel about this and, and the potential for it going right. forward? Well, well, clearly farmers have, have valued conservation programs and, uh, and see it as a major part of that farm program portfolio. In fact, it's as big as the commodity program is today in terms of expected dollars of spending. And we're seeing p proposed cuts mm -hmm. to, the, to the commodity programs that would make, in fact, conservation the bigger part of that portfolio. Uh, even still, farmers prefer the, uh, the voluntary programs over the alternatives. You have compliance programs, uh, essentially uh, require producers to adopt certain conservation practices or maintain those practices as a requirement for other benefits. Uh, or you even have direct regulation, which predominantly involves uh, other agencies, the Environmental Protection Agency, for example, uh, on directly addressing those environmental issues in, in agriculture. Again, the current Farm Bill is slated to run through September. 